Hello and welcome back everyone to Human Resource Machine. We are going to take a look at year 41, the sorting floor. What we are supposed to do here is take from the inbox a zero terminated string, sort it and outbox it in ascending order. Um, the, um, the basic principle that you can apply, or there's two basic things that you can apply, either copy the whole, th whole string then sort it and then outbox it or try sorting while you inbox or while you input. Um, I decided to do the second thing um, because it seemed like that could result in a more efficient program hopefully. Uh, I wanted to do that with a three sort earlier but it just didn't work. I just couldn't fit um, enough uh, commands into the uh, limit for this for the size challenge in order to do it. And I didn't have the um, the uh, capability of indexing at that point, but um, I wanted to give it another go, and it worked quite well. So um, the idea is, I copy to the floor um, one initial thing. Um, I have my index m, which is index max, which always points at the next empty field on the floor. Um, it obviously, is starting at zero. Um, I inbox copy to zero. The I have to have one initial value, otherwise I can't sort. So. Um, that's what I do in this uh, bit. I bump up my index M, so after line 5 I end up with the first element in here and then a pointer pointing to this field. Um, what I then do is I copy from index M, copy to index and copy to index minus 1 um, just to um, initialize my indexes, the ones I um, I will later use for comparing the two values. Uh, index minus one in the first step. Well, in the first step they are all one now, but I uh, obviously have to do the bump minus one for the index minus one, which I will, which I just do a little bit later. Um, I then, once I initialize those, I inbox. If the inbox is zero, I've reached the end of my string and um, I can start outboxing, but I'm not there yet. So I copy to index M, which is my next field on the ground. I bump plus my index M and I bump down my index minus one. I could have done that up here. No idea why I didn't. Um, but hey, that's, uh, that's just me being me. Um, if index minus one is negative, we've reached the end of our floor and uh, yeah, we can't go further, so this is our condition to start the next um, input. And um, if it's not negative, we we have to do some sorting. So we copy from the field that is uh, currently pointed at by our index. So in that case, this would be a uh, one in the first iteration. Um, we subtract what is currently in index minus one, so in field zero. Um, if it is a negative, we um, know that these two are already sorted. So for the first two ele elements, that's trivial, right? And then uh, we know the first one and the second one are already sorted and we don't have to do anything. Um, if they're not sorted, we have to swap, which is uh, the whole thing down here. So we copy from our index field, uh, copy to temporary, so T. Copy from index minus one, copy that to index, copy from t, copy to index minus one. So really just standard swapping. Uh, we bump minus both our indexes. Uh, in this case, um, index minus one would then be minus one and it's negative and we can loop. In case we have more on the floor, we would then continue with the next iteration, um, go to the next two elements and swap. Um, once we are through with all this, um, we just go back and inbox the next thing. And once we hit our zero in the inbox, uh, where are we? Here, this one. Uh, we jump down here and um, we start outboxing. So we we have then sorted this string in descending order. So we start with the highest and uh, sorted it descending. So we, are, we have to outbox in reverse order. So we start at index M, bump minus, because index M is pointing to an empty field. So we bump minus. If that is negative, we've reached the end. So can't outbox anymore, but um, as long as we don't, we just copy from index, from the new index M, outbox, and then bump minus and check for negative. And just loop through this until we've reached the end. 
And once that's done, once we reach the end, we can go and check the next string. So let's have a look how that works in in practice. So we take our zero, copy that to index M. We take our input, copy that to the first field, and we have essentially um, initialized our playing field. Um, then we copy from index M, um, initialize our indexes. Uh, we check the inbox if it's zero, well then we're done, it's not, so we copy that to index M, our next uh, place in the uh, in our uh, storage. Uh, we bump up our index M because now this is the next empty field and we bump down our index minus one. So for our comparison we're now looking at zero and one. Uh, we copy from index, we subtract our index minus one, it's minus 42 so it's negative so in this case they are already sorted in ascending order so we don't have to swap so we can take the next thing. We can reinitialize our indexes so now we are looking at 2 and 1. We uh, take the next thing from the inbox it's not a a 0 so we copy that to our next uh, empty field. We bump up our index M because now we are we need this as the new empty field. We bump down our index M minus uh, our index minus one. So we now that we have to look at these two fields, we copy from index. We uh, compare and now it's a positive, so we have to swap. So we copy from index, copy to temp, copy that, uh, copy to the index minus one and essentially just do the this, this standard swap. Then we bump down our, both our indexes, jump back, copy from the next index, compare that, now we are at um, minus 21 and now we know that because we did, we basically do this every time we insert something new, we know that if there's something to the left that is, will already be sorted so we don't have to sort further. Uh, we can now reinitiate our indexes, take from the inbox, but now we have a zero, so we know that we now have reached the end of our string, and what we currently have on the floor is already sorted. So we bump down our index, min uh, index M. Uh, it's not negative yet, so we can outbox what's in our current index M. We can bump down index M again. It's not, n not a negative, so we can keep on outboxing. Bump down index M again. Not a negative, so we can, we can outbox even more. Then we bump down index M. Now it's a negative, and now we can go back to the start. Reinitiate index M with a zero. Take from the inbox. Copy. Initiate our indexes. Copy to our next empty field, bump up index M, do our comparison, in this case no swapping needed, so initiate our indexes again, to swap in that case because i is uh, bigger than h then compare the next thing or the next two things they are already sorted so we don't have to keep sorting so take the next thing from the inbox put it into our empty field and then start comparing again. So N and H, it's a positive, so we need to swap. We take the next pair, N and I, we compare, it's a positive, so we need to swap again.
then we take the next pair. It's a negative, so we know we are now hit a place where, we, where it's already sorted, so we don't have to do anything. And we can take the next input. Get the K. Bump up index M. And compare the next two. This is a positive, so we need to swap. Take the next pair, compare to positive, so we have to swap. Take the next pair. Compare, this is a negative now, and so we know that everything left of this is sorted. So we can stop and take the next input. This is now a zero, so we know that we've reached the end and we can start our boxing. And that's just what we do. And the last and very long string, I will just let you watch and uh, enjoy. <laughs> So you can see we always bubble the uh, the latest number until we don't have to swap anymore. So the 48 will get bubbled up until there. And then the sorting stops. Uh, the 84 will get bubbled all the way to the end. The 68 will get bubbled right until here. And then the 46 will get bubbled right until the 5. And we stop swapping so we can start out boxing. And then we take the last one, which is just one character, and we're done. And that's year 41, the sorting floor. It took us 32 commands and 689 steps, which is well below the speed challenge. And there we go. That is human resource machine done and solved. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial series, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.